Hello, my name is Jura. I'm Dutch, and I'm 11. Every afternoon after school, I put on my overalls and a pair of boots so as not to get dirty, and I go work outside in my dad's garden. My dad, whose name is Luke, isn't a gardener. He's a landscape designer. He designs gardens for people's houses or for parks. Our own garden is huge, and it needs a lot of upkeep. Today, Dad is going to teach me how to set flowers. The flower seeds that we're going to set were in this little paper packet. You must always start by putting the empty packet in the earth. It acts as a label and reminds you what you've planted. Dad told me that I should leave some space between the seeds so that the plant won't be squeezed too close together when they start to grow. But that's not easy because the seeds are really tiny and they keep slipping through my fingers. Then you have to water them, but just a little. You don't want the seeds to be washed away. Dad has installed an automatic watering system for the plants. All of these plants in the nursery will be transplanted later in his clients' gardens. Now I'm getting on a little bulldozer. It's called a tracto digger. I switch on the motor, I check the gear shift, and I'm off. Dad asked me to transport some stones and to unload them in front of the house. He will use them to make a little parking space in front of the house for customers who come to visit our garden. It's really fun driving a tractor digger. Once you've collected the stones, you have to shake the digger well to get rid of any that are sticking out. Otherwise, they'll fall out during the trip. It's pretty cool. It's like a merry-go-ride in a fun park. It's Wednesday, and since we only have school in the morning, my sister, my friends, and I go to Pook's. Pook is a painter. She's a well-known artist in the region I live in. In her workshop, she explains to us that Dutch painters have often painted flowers and Dutch landscapes. For example, here's a mill on a canvas by the painter Gabrielle. I like to look around Pook's studio. It's full of strange objects, wonderful animals, and funny sculptures. It's time to go outside for an open-air painting session. But first, we have to prepare our materials. Everybody chooses two paintbrushes, a thick one and a thin one, a rag and a plate. As we ride along on our bikes, we look for a place to set up ourselves and paint. It's quite a pretty spot here, don't you think? Pook has found a calm spot on the riverbank, the old Rhine. We set up on a boat pontoon. She gives each of us a little water to rinse our brushes in. Oh, disaster! Fortunately, I hadn't begun anything yet. First, I choose the colors I'm going to use for my painting. With this basic palette, you can imagine all sorts of mixtures. Okay, everything is ready. I'm going to begin. I have to look at the model closely so that I can copy it properly. It takes a really long time to make a work of art. Pook has told us that real artists can take months or even years on some of their paintings. The finishing touch, the signature. 
and the paintings are ready for exhibition. I am <laughs> One of the most famous Dutch painters, Van Gogh, also signed with his first name, Vincent. Today, Mom and I are going to visit his museum in Amsterdam. His paintings are famous all over the world. I love Van Gogh. He painted magnificent landscapes with little brush strokes of very bright colors. You could say that his paintings are almost alive. What I love especially are the flowers he painted, like the irises. Look at the paintings, you almost get the impression that you can smell their perfume. Here I am back in Dad's garden. I'm going to get the wheelbarrow from the greenhouse. It's hot and humid in here. So Dad can cultivate plants that need a climate like this, like cacti or exotic flowers. This afternoon, Dad and I are going to replant the flowers that we started growing in the nursery. They're big enough now to be transplanted. With this fork, you have to lift them out of the earth in one sharp movement so that a big lump of earth comes with them and so that you don't damage the roots. Okay. With the earth still clinging to the roots, they are quite heavy, so we use the wheelbarrow to transport them. We plant them near the wooden shed. We put them in a hole and then cover their roots with earth so that they'll grow again. Then we water them. This time we can give them plenty of water. I have to hurry, it's five o'clock, almost time to milk the cows. I often go to the neighboring farm to bring back the cows from the field before I go home for dinner. The neighbors have a quad bike. It's a funny sort of motorbike with four wheels and they let me drive it. I love this machine. I like looking after the cows even if they sometimes drop little presents like this one on me. Oh well, it's all part of the job. Today, my friend Simon is coming fishing with me in the lake behind the house. We use breadcrumbs as bait. You cast your line out, and you wait, and you wait. There are a lot of canals and lakes in the Netherlands, so a lot of people fish. Yeah, they're finally biting. Look at this fish, Simon. I take out the hook very carefully so that I don't hurt the fish because I'm going to let him go in a little while. It's time to go home. Simon and I like playing video games. This one here is our favorite. It's a boat race through the Dutch canals. If you capsize, you lose. We've met up with our friends from the football club and we're off for an hour's training. Here, everyone plays together, both the girls and the boys. In the afternoon to finish off the day, Mom brings my sister and I to a horse farm. The horse that Aileen is riding has a French name. He's called Bonheur, or Happiness. Aileen has been riding and taking care of him for more than two years. That's why she's so good at it. Walk, trot, and gallop. I've only just started to learn to ride, so I'm not as good as she is. I'm just going to walk. That'll be good enough this time around. Ginger, I am under the indruk of the 
for Aileen and I, it's time for some cartoons. But our parents ask us not to watch TV for more than one hour. Anyway, if it's not raining, I prefer to play in the garden. Dad is really great. He built us a tree house in a tree just above the canal. It's not easy to climb up into it, but it's a great spot for a quiet read. Dad isn't always working outside. Sometimes he's inside drawing the plans and sketches of the gardens he's working on for clients. I sit down next to him and, and pretend I'm a great designer. Dad's working on a new project. I'm designing a lifting machine. It's a sort of giant crane. There, my crane is finished. One day I'd like to be able to drive one like this. I love farm machinery. Sometimes I go into the big shed of the farm next door just to look at the tractors. Their tires are as big as I am. When I grow up, if I don't become a landscape designer like my dad, I'd like to be a farmer so that I could drive machines like these. I already can see myself in the fields at the wheel of this farm machine. But for the moment, I have to make do with Dad's little tracto digger. It's not so bad. A lot of boys my age would love to be in my shoes. A garden means constant work. There's always something to do to clean it up and to improve it. I'm so proud to be able to help my dad when school is over. Soon the flowers that I planted will start to bloom. The coolest thing about a garden is that you never get bored. The landscape changes all the time. Every day some plants die and others are born. But it's worth the effort because our garden is really magnificent, don't you think?